Hey guys, look what showed up. Solus 11.4 kilowatt inverter. We'll just say we open it up and see what's inside. bracket This is the electricity meter and the current clamps. Acro ADGF AE V200. into the bottom of the unit. Let's get this monstrosity out of here. Packing the packing list said it weighs 100 pounds, so got a little bit of weight to it. Big heat sink on the back here. Got the bypass inverter switch, rapid shutoff, Tygo antenna port. that up with. Relax. 
actually Allen head, but this is a torque, so it fits in perfect. Uh, grab the camera, I'll give you a little closer look at what we got going there. If anybody wants the manual, there's the QR code for it. A little wiring diagram. And then... Got the grid in, L1, L2 neutral. Back up, battery plus minus. And we got the PVs. One, two, three, four. What else we got down here? It's hard to read that with the glare, huh? Meter AB. Then we got the CAN bus. High and low. We have to see what that is. Dry contacts, generator, and a parallel port. Guess that's for linking um, multiple inverters. So that, that's not an Ethernet port, that's um, probably just a straight through cable. Or it's for the RS-485, I don't know, I'll have to check the instructions, see what, see what that was, but two, two RS-485s and two parallel ports. Well, it looks like it, looks like it arrived in good shape. It was packed pretty good. Got the DC disconnect over here. There's the specs on it. Uh, big old heat sink on there. Alright guys. That should do her. I'll catch you all later.